my project's title is Intrusion Detection System. Uh, it is a software device uh, that can monitor all suspicious activities in the network or uh, that activities that uh, violates its policy. IDS is a very popular system uh, to protect the networks from different types of attacks. Any intrusion activity or violation is reported or informed either to administrator or this information can be centrally collected in a system. Uh, so this IDS is basically a software. Uh, it is categorized into two common parts. The first one is NID, uh, Network Intrusion Detection, and our second one is HID, Host Intrusion Detect uh, Detection. So now I will be talking about how this layout has been uh, given. Uh, we have three, basically we have three networks here. First one is this, second one is this, third one is this one. Uh, the first network is made up of IP4 uh, addressing and the IP address in the range of uh, 192.168.1.2 uh, till uh, 7. Uh, you can see we have four different PCs here. We have a syslog uh, server present, a printer. All of this is connected to the switch and then to the 1941 router. Our second uh, uh, network is this one. Again, uh, it's from uh, 192.168.10 to 0.2 to till 8. Uh, we have uh, again 4 PCs here, PC 7, 4, 6 and 5. Laptop is also given just for uh, 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 diversity. Then we have a server PTFTP here. And then there's a printer. Now uh, we have another third uh, uh, network present here. Uh, it consists of one laptop, one PC and a switch has been connected. Uh, to connect it to the router. A smartphone and cell phone tower has been also added. Placing the devices and connecting it with cables is not enough. Uh, we must do more than this uh, and after connecting the cables, first task is, task is to assign them the IP address. As discussed, uh, discussed uh, before, class A and C IP4 are used. And after assigning IP to each interface, uh, the network, uh, next step is to check connectivity from one PC to another. Uh, as you can see right here, IP address has been given uh, to each of the each of them. Now this is the HTTP server uh, which has been uh, given the IP address this one. And in the HTTP uh, I have uploaded some HTML files. Uh, which can be accessed by any any PC or anyone on the network. Here is the FTP server. This also has been loaded with a username and password, which can be used to store and read any files uh, by anyone uh, anyone on the server on the network. Now we will uh, go for the uh, for to see how if. Uh, whether PC3 can ping PC1 or not. So copying this IP address. As you can see, uh, one PC from another PC can easily uh, connect to each other. And is uh, that means the connection is working. Okay, uh, okay, so now I will be talking about how the HTTP and FTP server works. Here I have the HTML file loaded up. Uh, this is my IP address. Now if I go to a PC and open it, open the web browser, I can access whatever HTML file I had uh, saved over there. As you can see, I have just upload, go to the URL and go and my HTML page was, could open. All the links are working and hence we can access that server. Now uh, going on to the FTP server, the first of all we will be creating another text file in another PC. Uh, I have say I will be saving this here. Uh, naming it is at testing one two three dot text txt.
now what I have to do is uh, upload it on the server accessing that uh, FTP server we type FTP and the uh, IP address first of all uh, by DIR we will be checking whether we, whether we have that file on our PC or not so once it's on our PC uh, we will type FTP and the uh, IP address of that server now we will be uploading it and as you can see uh, it's done uh, to check we type TIR and you can see it's present Now here uh, we have uh, put our F our text file in the server. We have to put it in there. So we type. This is the name. the file has been transferred there and we can check it by DIR as you can see it's already there now the file is on the FTP server uh, anyone on the on the network can access it for example right now we are using PC4 so now that if we use PC7 go to command prompt As you can see, we can still get that uh, testing123 text. Now, in order to get that, we put the file is read and then it's uh, transferred here. Now, to open it, as you can see, we have got our files done. Uh, we will be proceeding to the main part of our project, uh, the intrusion detection system. Uh, so basically what should happen is that uh, PC3 should be able to communicate or ping all these within this network. And it can also communicate with all those that are outside the network. However, uh, these ones that are outside the network should not be able to communicate with, with what's inside. Uh, so uh, as earlier I showed that it could ping, PC3 could ping PC1. But now we will see if uh, PC10, uh, which is outside the network, can ping uh, what's inside. As you can see, I have already tried out once, but I will uh, do it once again. Ping. Uh, I am going to ping PC3. and. As you can see, uh, it won't since it's outside the network. Hence, uh, this proves that our intrusion detection system is working. For that, we have uh, um, uh, used uh, the applied IDS on the router 0. And uh, once uh, I have pinged it uh, to, the, uh, to the network, the syslog will, will have some uh, something stored in it. As you can see, the that uh, it has come here, and we have got uh, the log on whatever was there. We can clear the log, and IPS4 message has been created uh, with uh, risk rating and everything.
Okay, so after that we will see uh, whether we can uh, connect to the FTP server and uh, recover our file that we have stored on it. For that we will be using the network 3 so that because it's outside that network. Hence we go to desktop. Uh, we go to command prompt. As you can see, I have already tried, but again I tried to connect to the FTP server. One minute. As you can see, it cannot connect uh, since it's outside the network and the uh, FTP's uh, connector is in, inside the network and our IDS is working and intruder cannot connect, uh, was unable to connect to our server. Hence, this uh, network is a self, uh, self composed uh, in a network present and even outside this network will not ever be able to access whatever inside. For example, this is a home. Now anybody connected to the net, internet uh, will not be able to go access the files stored what's inside our home. Hence uh, our intrusion detection system is working very well. Thank you.